this is Chapter of the Skill, and I'm bringing you episode 9 of Cards for Thought. And now, today, we'll be Dinju Oil Master! Or Stealth Dragon Voidmaster, if you're not awesome. So, uh, this card was one of the debut cards of the early early Vanguard anime, where uh, Ninja Master M, or, or Ninja Master, I think it was just called back in the day. I don't remember what his full name was, but this card, uh, in the current format, there's a lot of uh, discussion of whether you should use this card or not because it is a 9k and if you have to ride a 9k you may be behind. At the same time there's ups and downs to it. I seem to be yawning a lot maybe because I'm cold. <sighs> I'm gonna put a jacket real quick while we talk which is behind me in my chair. So okay let's let's start off with what it does when this unit attacks if the number of cards in your hand is greater than your opponents this unit gains plus three thousand to end of that battle this is a vanguard only effect if it was a rear vanguard rear guard effect it'd be much better i'll be honest um, and a second ability is a vanguard rear guard ability which is the most important one when this unit attack hits if the number of cards in your hand is less than your opponents you may pay the cost if you do your opponent chooses a card from his or her hand and, and discards it Now. Let's think of how this works. Um, if it's in your vanguard zone, you have to expect them to either guard it or no guard it because you have more cards than them after your twin drive. So it's important to have less cards, pretty obviously. But if you have to ride this as your vanguard, you really don't have a choice in the matter. So, but generally, you want this as your rear guard because stand triggers in this card is pretty dirty. Because uh, normally when like a unit stands and they attack you again, they're like, okay, I'll take it. Like, say you're at four, like, uh, uh, I'll take it. But then, like, sometimes the Void Master, the ability can trigger off the stand trigger attack. And then if they take it, they take an extra damage and then they lose another card in their hand. So this might not be a good idea for them to take. So most of the time, this will be blocked. Um, say you're going first and you hit grade three earlier than your opponent. If you play this with the rear guard, there's a good chance that your opponent can't like they might not be able to afford the extra cards for it because they want to take the damage, they want to get to liver break but you can just keep them from doing that because well there's a cost to getting to liver break, they had to discard more cards on the other side another way you can play against Nubatama is that you just rush with them and as long as you have less cards than them then they'll start losing out but the problem with that is if you do that and then they have a Hakugure they can easily like get ahead of you by going like Block, block with Hakugure and something else. Like block your Vanguard. Like see your Grade Two Vanguard with a Hakugure and a 5K Counter Blast One. I have no cards. You have to discard a card. And now, if you're holding your like Clutch Grade Three, you lost your Grade Three. So playing against Nubatama is a thing that people will have to start thinking about. Although the current meta is basically Chaos Breaker, Dragon, and uh, Revengers, but we'll have to see how good um, Nubatama is. I'm not sure. I don't think it's going to be that good. But I definitely do see some potential. Um, as a 9k, technically it's a bad thing, but in a sense you can think of it as you need to guard more. This helps you trigger Hakagure more profitably, in a sense, it's not really a good uh, argument. And then since you use so much cards to guard, you'll be low on cards, and when you're low on cards, all your effects will trigger. So it's not really um, a good excuse for it to be a 9k, Like that's n that doesn't make it better it's just an upside you can look forward to and mainly in a deck say um, roll paladins when you play palamedas uh, it's kinda like that in a sense except it's not instead of a 13k attacker it's a card that has an amazing effect in the rear guard zone so you would play like two or three I currently am playing three I have to ride it like once like every three games so and these are all proxied cards because I still don't have them yet, so don't don't be like, why isn't there a profile yet? Because um, I just don't have the cards yet. So, uh, so yeah, Void Master. He's a lot of people actually don't play him at all. They just go for the break ride, for the new card, and I don't ag necessarily agree on that. I still think Void Master is a great asset to the deck, especially because. It still uses the old mechanic of just straight up stripping cards from your opponent's hand. Because most of the new cards are sent to bind zone, and then you have the starter to remove cards from the bind zone, essentially stripping away cards and getting you a card advantage. But it's not really it's not really a thing in my opinion. So uh what else about Void Master? Uh 
The plus 3k is neat, but it's not very useful, I'll be honest. And yeah, Voidmaster, he's. I think he's a sleeper. I think you should pick these up early as well, because they are rare. Like like the R symbol, it's, it's rare. So, um. You could, I'm sure they're worth like a dollar right now, or like even less, maybe like 50 cents. You could probably get someone to give them to you for free. Um, but later, they're going to be hard to find, so you probably should pick these up now. And if you guys notice that I sound weird, it's because I have a new headset. Um, yeah, so, hope you guys don't think it's weird. My friends say I sound really robotic, but we'll, we'll, I'll be the judge of that. So, uh, this is episode 9 of Cards for Thought. We will see you... Well, I will see you next next week, because next week will be Amulet's turn again, and hopefully we can continue the series for a long, long time, and if you guys like this, please um, give us a rating, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff, comment, especially comment, I like reading the comments, please tell me, like, I like to argue, or like, not really argue, debate, let's go with debate, uh, with the the comments like when they say oh I think your card is bad I think I think your opinion is wrong I like that because it helps me think about um, what I can do to improve like a deck or what I can think improve about my thoughts on a card so then uh, we all get better and stuff so yeah uh, so I'll see you guys next next week and peace.